Hello, welcome to our 20, 21th episode. 21st? <laughs> no, I'm going 21th. I'm just going with it. I'm okay, rolling yes, with it. Yes, yes. I like it more. 21th. But welcome to our 21th episode. episode. It's significantly better that way. Uh, here we are joined with our regular co-hosts, Andy, Daniel, and Nick, and a special guest star, Nobody. So the like button. You. Yeah, the like button. <laughs> Be sure to press that. I think we only have like three likes in total on all of our videos. Nine. Maybe. No, it's higher than that, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it is. <laughs> no, it is, because it's like We don't the have a high episode. like ratio. Shameless plug. I mean no one dislikes our videos, so oh, we're taking yeah, exactly. a like ratio. <laughs> no, but, no, but I mean just like for our likes. I, I don't know about yeah. it. I don't know about it. Um but anyway, so today for our first topic. We are going to be talking about the psychology of different shapes and design. So, since it is my hosting, I'm going to let someone else read this because I am normally the uh, article reader. So, not it. Not it. I chose to volunteer to be it. Okay. <laughs> you volunteer as tribute? <laughs> volunteer as tribute. I was going to say that, but then everyone suddenly said not it. And I'm like, oh well, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I was going to say cool. Okay. You know, Which one should I start for? <laughs> psychology of different shape. shapes and design. Okay. Just just go like over like the top of it. Don't mention like the whole bit, whole chunk. It's a lot to take in, Eddie. It's a lot to take in. Okay. So when people view shapes, magnitude, uh, a multitude of psychological <laughs> occur. <laughs> uh, each attributing different emotions, thought, and perceptions that resonate with our brains or the viewers' brains. And because the shapes are the main part of the graphic design by choosing shapes which provoke the desired response, designers are able to influence the way in which we feel about the design and ultimately how they perceive what shapes and stand for. Um, and so it's like we get to see like um, the shapes like, differently. And, like, and like people may not notice uh, these shapes directly, but they will get an important impact on their feelings and behavior after they saw it. And, um, and like graphic de designers can use these elements to reinforce a message through a, a design. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's like many years ago, experts have studied different shapes that can affect people's behavior and identify the persona of each viewer as every shape has its own meaning and influence differently to the viewer's mind. And it's called the psychology of shapes. And mm. to discover more about how you can use psychology shape in design to create more meaningful design, first, uh, we need to understand what the hidden message and shapes are in this article. And so that's like the first shape is the squares and triangles. And so the most common shapes in graphic design are squares and rectangles. Uh, we always see them in our daily life because these shapes are the most common in design layouts. Square shapes are formed by straight lines and right angles that give viewers a sense of reliability and security. And these attributes make people safe and contained. Uh, and something to carefully consider when using squares, though, is not considered too boring. Without the correct use of color, shading, and effects, then a square or rectangle can portray dullness and lack of imagination for many viewers. What do you guys think? Um, I think it's all right. Unless you're living in like a high rise apartment with a window and someone's watching you, then I don't feel safe and secure with shape squares. But other than that, <laughs> yeah, I kind of agree with that. Very specific requirements. Yes, yes, very specific. And I don't, I don't <laughs> look at an image and be like, oh yes, square. Mm. I don't look oh, at don't... my monitor and be like, yes, happiness. <laughs> happiness. Although, um... although like. Like shapes itself, like can be appealing in some situations. Yeah, that's true. I think a try, like a perfect circle, when someone draws it, is so satisfying. Exactly. Mm -hmm. How do you find if a laptop instead of like rectangular is more circular or disgusting? Trying? Disgusting. Exactly. <laughs> disgusting. No, but that's for that's for like that's that's it's because just... it's just not it's not effective as that shape. Ah oh, yes, I agree. Yeah. Like. 60% of what I can normally see. You know? yeah. Unless it's some triangular shaped game that I don't know. Like, I, I don't know because I mean, either way, if you're using a triangle, you're cutting off corners of your screen. If you're using a circle, how are you even supposed to reach your, like, your keyboard without it being uncomfortable? 
it's just some weird circular i don't like it i just don't like that idea sounds <laughs> disgusting a circular screen oh my god but then again if a screens were like a first design to be a circle which it would be, be fine yeah we would i think, be completely I think it's fine just because we're used to seeing rectangles yeah. well and the issue is nothing's designed for that shape so mm -hmm. if you did anything that from the past you wouldn't be able to view it the same way probably some stuff would be cut off or i mean it, as a circle everything would be like curved wouldn't it because how can you have straight you... lines across the screen without stuff being cut off there have to be some curvage mm -hmm. which is just maybe it'll be it. like a half like what is it fear a semi sphere like so it goes in so like you get that like 360 view I don't know. That's I still, I still hate it. I still hate I, it. I don't like the idea, but it would be interesting. I would say. No, squares are ideal. Squares are ideal. I think. Mm. I think squares are the ideal, ideal shape for monitors, and computers. Nods in agreement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was the color? Color? I don't. What do you mean color? Isn't that? Isn't that like Peter? I don't. Know, just like coloring on like the shapes. Oh, I don't really care. <laughs> As long as it's not like really annoying, like a bright hot pink, I don't really mind. Agree. <laughs> it just hurts my eyes after a while. It's hard to look at. Anything like highlight, highlighted colors? Yeah. Unless you're actually like highlighting things, it's not ideal. Like a neon my... color is just ugh. Mm -hmm. Agreed. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't mind dull colors. Like it's saying dull colors can portray dullness and a lack of imagination. I kind of like it. A white wall is nice. Lack of mm -hmm. imagination right there. <laughs> well, what other color? Okay, having any other color is going to disturb someone. A white wall yeah, is I feel like... like... I feel like, like any, like, as long as it's, it's like any form of white, like, you know, like, it doesn't have to be, like, color. It's white-ish. Yeah. Any I think shade, that's, like, the most... Shade, that's the like, least you know? controversial color you can have your wall as. White. That's yeah. so not true. <laughs> what do you mean? No, that is... Okay, then that what, is... okay, what do you think it is now? No, 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 no! It's just a racism. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. The more we're talking about walls. Yeah. If yeah. I if I change if I change it to any other color, you know someone would be disturbed by that. There's probably some Karen out there who saw white wall and said, like, you know, white privilege is prominent due to that wall. <laughs> There's probably a Karen yeah. out there who said I mean, that. No, I mean, the walls are white just so you can paint over the wall. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense having wall. them. Okay. Plus, <laughs> if you have like blue or if you have like a yellow wall, it's gonna disturb someone. It's gonna disturb someone. I I know it will. Imagine having it like the darkest Seizure black ever. Yeah. You just darkest can't black. See I mean, I would like the black wall. I wouldn't mind yeah. that, but for a... no, I will. I, I don't know what. There's like a certain shade of black that like reflects light, so it becomes like really shiny. But the issue so, with having a black wall is like you can see every black. single stain on that wall. You can see <laughs> all the dirt and grime that's on your wall. With the white wall, you can't see like, the dust. White wall, you can see if you get it like stained, you get it stained. That's true, like, but but black walls, you can see like dust and dirt and all the stuff that's hidden. With white walls, mm. you see the stuff that's obvious, which you can clean out, but you can't clean off the stuff that's hidden, especially when it's on such a large surface. Mm. I don't know. I I just think a white wall is a lot easier to maintain than the black wall because it's like easier to not have to clean it. I don't know. I have like a bias towards black, so. I can understand that. I I like black mm. too, but I, I I don't want black walls. My clothes are black. Ooh. My same, same. <laughs> it's a nice That's color. A nice I mean, color. it was a nice shade. Yeah. Well, cause, cause, like, cause, cause black like black clothes suit almost any type of clothing color yeah, clothing. Sure. Well. Unless you're like really pale. If you're super pale, then it really doesn't work. You just look like a ghost. Yeah, I can. I I know what you're talking about. Then again, like they could still pull it off. That's true. You could still pull it off. I'm just saying it might. It's a little go. It's a little ghastly. I'm gonna say ghostly, but I decided not to do that because that's just a horrible pun. Yeah, they became. They just became became a Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, we well, on to the next shape. <laughs> continuing, Andy. Okay. Um, so for triangles, if you want to represent stability, balance, and movement in your design, triangles are the right shape to use. Triangles commonly defined as energetic, dynamic shape attributes. That makes triangles used to represent motion and direction. Usually, viewers will see on top of a triangle shape automatically. If triangles are facing to the left or right, it represents progression, either forwards in the sense of moving onward 
or backward in the sense of backtracking or dwelling in the past, consider the iconic play button for videos. This is worth noting that which side represents which section depends on the direction that culture reads. In Western cultures that leave, uh, read left to right, a right facing arrow represents forward pro progression. Mm, I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah. I don't really see triangles as much as progression as I see them as like stability, which it didn't mention, but I think. Oh, like, the thing is. I've always seen triangles in whatever, like, was the futuristic games with, like, energy shields or something. Yeah, they always use triangles. Yeah. It's because they look cool. It sounds like, yeah, they look cool. But then it's like, it kind of does show, like, energetic and dynamic shape, you know? Yeah. I think that's just a coincidence, but, you know. I think I if, if we introduced any other it's, shape to it, like, in the past, like, we used to use scale it, don't, armor don't with a circular. Don't shields normally, like... Like like futuristic ones like hexagon or any type of gon that's not a triangle. Mm. Yeah, but I have quite common Isn't it an oval triangle. usually as well. Like well, yeah, common shields always oval or circular. Mm. I've always liked hexagon or triangles as like energy shields. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of energy shields. I I like energy shields that are just clear, like just clear energy shields. When I, play yeah, I don't think that would be possible, but okay. <laughs> what do you mean? It's, it's no like with like an orange hue. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay. So like it's not it's not translucent, <sighs> but it, you can still see through it. But yeah, it's I don't know. That's just the way I think about it. I don't really like the yeah. whole arrows thing because it makes it harder to see when I play games. <laughs> I think if we replace shapes, like in the past we used to use scale armor, like scale chainmail armor, which was kind of like circular. And then nowadays mm -hmm. we go more futuristic as triangles. You could easily do that. You could easily switch those shapes. And nowadays we would see circulars as futuristic or progression or whatever. I don't know. It just depends. It depends on the time frame. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. Next shape. Next shape. Circles, ovals, and ellipses. Circles and other circular shapes like ovals and ellipses are some of the most classical shape in design. Circles, unlike other geometric shapes, don't have angles, and it makes circles feel softer and milder than other shapes. Commonly, they represent both unity and protection. Circular shapes are a much friendlier shape than others for encompassing other images within, because they tend to invite the viewers into their completeness. Mm -hmm. In web design, circle shapes are commonly used for small icons. They are the one of the most popular designs for designers because they are very noticeable and simple but very powerful graphic elements and it will put viewers at ease to see them. Circles never stop and so neither does the eye with when viewing them, giving them a childlike whimsy. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, to be fair, like I feel like bubbles like are really like neat to look at. Yeah. Because they're like circular shape, not because they're like bubbles. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't I, I think I only really agreed with the production part. After that, it just seems like they were over-explaining circles. <laughs> like, I don't see a circle and think, oh, that's that's like childlike whimsical. Okay. That's very whimsical. Usually, these are talking about, like, graphic design. Yeah, but, I mean, we have graphic design all over. I don't know. I just don't... I don't mind. Yeah, they could have, like, a cute. square blob thing, and it could look as cool as a circle to me. I don't know. Mm. Sure. Chrome you, design. You know, think about it, huh? Yeah, indeed. Oh, okay. That's the end of the link. <laughs> I didn't hear what that happened. Oh. oh, okay. So, like, I mean, if you said you could change, like, circle to any kind of blob, it wouldn't, like, if you looked at any type of social media platform, the icon, it's always circle. If you think it's weird, blob. I don't know. I wouldn't mind as, like, a square square blob thing. I like a square would be so out of place. No, like, a square with, like, um, rounded edges. I think that'd be fine. I wouldn't mind that. Hmm. The issue with circles is they cut off images. So like but if you have a, focus, if you have a profile they, picture, they focus to the image. That's true. The central to the image. But I mean, sometimes I don't want a focus to be on one part of the image. Like for example, my elbow picture doesn't show the hand. <laughs> but then it's, again, he didn't show his, show his hand. I'm he did sure. show his hand. He did. Yes. Mm. Oh, that's a lot of circles in this cool. Well, yeah, it's circle. I don't know. I, I wouldn't mind a square blob thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, I don't know. When they said like unity, it just reminds me of like the Round Table of you know the King Arthur. I forgot yeah. what it's called. The Round mm-hmm. Table it's, of. It's called the Round Table. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Knights of the Round Table. It's literally just called the Round Table. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it had some, like grander name, but uh... no, it's just called the Round Table. And then, <laughs> and the round bucklers that shields. <laughs> yeah. Can we move on? Sure. Okay. okay. Actually, it's called the Round Table of Hamelot. Sorry. Oh yeah, that was it. Hamelot. Okay. Uh, pent- pentagons, hexagons, and octagons. When you think of pentagons, hexagons, and octagon shape all around us, the most relatable objects that use these polygons are nuts and bolt heads. They are the predominantly used polygon shapes for nuts and bolts Isn't because that, of their like, practical unique reasons, though. Yeah, uh, because of their unique features. Polygons unique are features. not very often often used in design projects due to their complexity, but we can see polygon shapes to represent real elements for our daily lives in the form of icons or logo. The po- these polygons, due to their geometric nature, are also used as puzzle pieces to create larger compositions and organize the information in your design, and are very common, especially in infographic design. Okay. Okay. Info- the info- I don't have much to say about that. I don't know if they're... Yeah, I, I don't really like... I, I, don't, see, I don't see them often. Even I don't though. really think about shapes, honestly. I just yeah. see things, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> Aesthetic? Cool. <laughs> Not aesthetic. Um, Not cool. <laughs> Indeed. I mean, infographic design. Yeah, they're pretty. I mean, when are they using infographic design? I can't really think of an example. I don't know. I, just, I like... still go to squares and circles when I think of infographic design. <laughs> okay. Like normal. I think of like, like rectangles and squares or pictures. That's it. Yeah. I don't really think of polygons and maybe, maybe polygons we're just bad. Often. Maybe we're just bad designers. Honestly. Well, I mean, they're not very. They're not used very often. I don't like their shape personally. It's just too many, too many sides. Pick a side. Pick a side. <laughs> I really prefer these shapes. I think they're just too. Hmm. I just like how, like, with the sides, you can just connect with like other shapes pretty no, easily. I don't. I don't like it. I like the simplicity of a nice triangle. <laughs> Literally, you can make a, almost any shape out of a triangle. So, that is, well, yeah, yeah, that is true. Yeah, yeah. that's true. It's, wait, yeah. mathematically confirmed. Yeah, I mean, you can't make a circle out of a triangle, but you can try. You get close no, if, to it. If you had like a ton of triangles, yeah, exactly. you had like a ton of triangles, then you could. But yeah, it's like it's like how people can get circles in Minecraft. Yeah, it's just oh, yeah, yeah, basically. Half, it's just half triangles into each just doubles the amount of triangles as yeah. squares, and you got one. <laughs> Wait, is it like I don't know when they said tr- making circles in Minecraft. I was thinking of the end crystals where people spawn like a ton of those and ends up making a circle, uh, like yeah, with their you know, yeah. I mean, like all the mm. mod that I mean, stuff, like you know. That's actually how they make the the best graphic designs nowadays. They they put billions of triangles in one pixel, and it helps the shading and color. So triangles are actually very useful. I think they're yeah, probably the most useful shape you can have. I've heard like all the all the graphic design in Red Dead Redemption uses a lot of triangles. Yeah. <laughs> well, moving on from triangles, I'm going to the far less superior polygons. <clears throat> Or pentagons Wait. and octagons. Did we, did we really read it? <laughs> yeah, we did. We're, we're now we're going oh. to abstract shapes, which abstract yeah, blobs. Shape. <laughs> the blob. blob. When using abstract shapes, however, keep in mind that the individual aspects you use retain their symbolism from their original shapes. It will be a visual symbol that can be abstract ideas or simplified, eh, simplified versions of an organic, organic shape. In some cases. <laughs> You are going to say organization. <laughs> I thought you were going to say organization. <laughs> oh my gosh. In some cases, abstract shape, yeah, abstract shape can be difficult to associate with some ideas due to the abstract anatomy. Yes, okay. And in some cases, the idea is behind the small detail of the shape. What that means is, if you're 
If you use the top of a half circle of a circle and the bottom of half a square, you will create an abstract shape mm. that exhibits both the playful features of a circle or serious features of a square. You can craft ab an abstract shape to meet whatever you needs you may have. Maybe you want to create something the world has never seen before in order, in order to stand out from the crowd. Using abstract shapes can have infinite meanings as they literally can represent anything in any way. Shapes play a crucial role in graphic design projects. They will transmit your goals, what they do, and their philosophy by using the right shape in design. Shapes will influence how viewers perceive and react to them. Making the informed decisions about the use of shape, color, fonts, and overall composition will lead to a design that resonates with your target audience while inspiring others and confidence in your project or brand. Okay. Neat. Okay. <laughs> cool. Okay, my uh, color psychology. I think it's a far more interesting one than the shape psychology, <laughs> but mm, mm, we're not going to discuss blobs at all because mm, I mean, That's we're not the everything. Abstract. Mm, just mm, mm, oh. I mean, uh -huh. really, everything's like just everything, so we can't really judge shapes. So I'm just going to go to color. Uh -huh. Not it. Mm. Not it. I'll not read it. it. I was going to. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> just okay. in case. I wanted to read it anyways because I saw the black site. I I saw the the definition for black and I liked I liked it. So we're gonna continue. Okay, what is color psychology? In in 1666, English scientist Sir Isaac Newton discovered that when pure white light passed, this doesn't really matter. Hey, I wrote about that in my okay essay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's just literally just going through like thought. Okay, talking about prevalence of color and stuff. Okay, cool. Okay, cycle. Uh, we're not going to go through this one. It's going to take too long. Okay, the psychological effects of color. Why is color such a powerful force in our lives? What effects can it have on our bodies and minds? While perceptions of color are somewhat subjective, there are some color effects that have universal meaning. Okay. Um, color psychology as therapy. Several ancient cultures, including the Egyptians and Chinese, practice chromotherapy or the use of colors to heal. Chromotherapy is sometimes referred to as light therapy or. Chloro colorology jesus colorology is still used today as a holistic or alternative treatment do not follow alternative treatments they never really work out that's where crystals came from okay red is used to stimulate the body and mind and to increase circulation i think it's just relating to blood yellow is thought to stimulate the nerves and purify the body i can't really think of how that relate are nerves yellow <laughs> No, I don't no, think they no. are. Yeah. I mean, fat. I guess fat cells. I don't know. Uh, orange is used to heal the lungs and increase energy levels. What are these colors representing? What, are they know. going towards biological like, standpoint? No, it's like okay. If you, it's just several ancient cultures. It's like what it represents back then. Yeah, but I, I thought red really... was like luck or something, not circulation. I thought red was like I thought red was like red just normally tends to be anger, you know. Yeah, what well, like, like what the like the Chinese fought off of that what it's like the dragon thing with the firecrackers yeah. and they used red yeah. to scare it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't think red would represent circulation. It seems like an important role. I mean, but this is in like medicinal like, But we're talking therapy. about China here, so I mean yeah. Egyptian I mean, Chinese China. It can be anything red is considered to be lucky. So I, mm. I don't know what's going on. I mean, okay, I didn't. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna move on. Blue is believed to soothe the illness and treat pain. I still don't think of blue as. I think green. Is, I, thought, I thought I think blue is the best in color. <laughs> I would think blue I mean, would be like sadness, sadness and from cold. in and out. Yeah, it's blue. Yeah, it's okay, I would think green would be like illness and treat pain because you yeah. always see like medical symbols as green or when you're like healing, green is yeah, like we... herbs and like. Healing, nah. you know, green is also like if you look at a vi video game, a health pack is usually yeah, green, and, well. and green symbolizes like life plants, exactly. Green, green is the exit sign, <laughs> okay. Indigo the shades are thought sign. to alleviate skin problems. I do not, okay. This I is, don't know how, how well, how, how credited is this site? Hold on, it <laughs> very was well, mine. medically reviewed by a medical doctor. Hmm. That doesn't help us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. It was updated May 28th of 2020. That's Let's not that go to the modern research. <laughs> There's I think this is probably Let's see. You know, okay, I like I like what's after this. Let's but... look at this medical guy. 
Okay, so I'm just going to continue on. He's a psychotherapy guy. Oh, never mind. We can't trust this site. <laughs> <laughs> they went to Harvard. But they're not really um, known Boston. for their medical doctorates. That's true. Boston. Uh, yes. Rush University. Massachusetts General Hospital. Dude, that's not bad. Mm. Okay, fine. We'll continue with your site, Mr. Gans. Was it Gans? Or Harvard something? Medical School. Yeah, it's Gans. Oh, okay. Reviewed? No, it's by Cherry. <laughs> no, but it's reviewed by a medical doctor, Stephen yeah. Gans, MD. They are reviewed, but the one written is... Well, yeah, Andrew but Chow. I think reviewed is more credible than written by. I could write something, and it still wouldn't be as credible. Eh. Unless it was reviewed by someone with an MD or a PhD or something special. I know. Nick, you want to review my math. work? I can give you. I can put GCSE <laughs> next year. <dude. laughs> you know what, sure, dude. Let's go. For GCSE. <laughs> okay, modern research on color psychology. Um, most psychologists view color therapy with skepticism. Yeah, for a good reason, and point out Great. that the supposed effects of color are often grossly exaggerated. Colors also have different meanings in different cultures. Um, so warm colored. That's not even a color. Placebo pills were reported as more effective than cool-colored placebo pills in one study. Blue-colored streetlights can lead to reduced crime, according to... No. Anecdotal, when, when, anecdotal when, evidence. When, when, when... Okay, wait, have we... Okay, wait, where does the blue-colored streetlight exist? Uh... Wait, wait it's really? saying anecdotal evidence. That, that means, like, minutes or limited evidence. Like, it's just a small... Someone just said, oh, maybe blue colors could be related to less crime. We don't know. <laughs> I okay. guess blue is calming color, I guess. Red I mean, causes... Blue is... Yeah? Blue is, like, calming in, like... I still sense. think green's a better color for streetlights, though. No, 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 no. Blue <laughs> is calming, definitely. Yeah, blue is say. calming, yeah. It's true, I just don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't <laughs> like it. I like the color blue, I don't like it on streetlights, though. Just Agreed. Okay. Red causes people to react with greater speed and force. Anger. <laughs> Something that might prove useful during athletic activities during the research. Okay. No, is it? There's like a whole research paper. No, not a research paper, but like, it's like there's like a thing on the internet about like how red. There's a experiment. That's the word. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. So basically, there is this like experiment where they like put like a bunch of people. Yeah. On, like, a red screen, a blue screen, and a white screen, I believe. Mm -hmm. Um, And then the people with the red screen, like, who were looking at the red screen for the whole time. Yeah. Acted more aggressive after. I think that's just them hurting their eyes. Just put a neon pink screen <laughs> in front of someone and see how they react after five minutes. And the people <laughs> who had um blue as, like, their screen. Yeah. They were more calm. And collected they were more they became more like thoughtful i guess uh-huh and then the guy with the white people with the white screen had no like side effects <laughs> Funny how it's blank. okay well what we're gonna move on to black now black uniforms yeah. are more likely to receive penalties i think this is kind of relating to black lives matter interesting well i'm just saying i think they're relating to that Potentially. Could be. Additionally, students were more likely to... Oh, it's talking about uniforms. They're talking about skin. Okay, never mind. Additionally, <laughs> students were, were more likely to associate negative quality, qualities with a player wearing a black uniform, according to a study that looked at historical data of sports teams and what they were dressed. Okay. I was um, so surprised. <laughs> it literally just says uniforms at, like, the second word. Yeah, but uniforms doesn't necessarily mean uniforms. That's true. Because you, wow. you can say a uniform of something is like a group. Yeah. Or it, uniform is different de definitions. So I don't generally associate the word uniform with school uniform. It seems like a random place to start it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Color and consumer purchases. So white. As many of our readers have suggested, the color white can feel fresh and clean. The color is often used to evoke a sense of youth and modernity. Yeah, I guess I can see that. Cringe. Mm -hmm. White. A lot of white, modern houses white. now are very white and basic, and I do not like it. But I guess it is what it is. Okay. Is it a higher albedo effect too. 
So I don't. I don't think that has relevance to consumer purchases, but yeah, <laughs> I don't think they built it out. I don't think they built it in like white. Just what is the I- albedo <laughs> effect of this color? Mmm, <laughs> it's white. I do not want it. Give me something with lower albedo. Okay, so <laughs> black. Our readers often describe black as powerful color, which might be the reason why black is the most popular color. For luxury vehicles, people often describe the color as sexy, powerful, mysterious, and even ominous. I, I agree with ominous. I don't know ominous. About sexy and... Yeah. I don't know about sexy. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Silver. Oh, for oh. vehicles. Yeah, okay. It's the third most popular color for vehicles and linked to a sense of innovation and modernity. High tech products are often silver, so the color is often linked to things that are new. Modern and cutting edge. Space gray, technically silver. I think space gray looks good. I don't think silver looks good. I mean, it's a shade of silver. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, like, I'm talking about like silver, just basic silver. I don't think it looks Mm. nearly as good as space gray. That's fair. Red. Dreaming of a red vehicle. Red is a bold, attention-getting color. So, preferring this type of car might mean you want project an image of power, action, and confidence. I can see that. Red Ferrari. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, like it's just a wow. It's like a red Ferrari, though. <laughs> I don't like red Ferraris. Like a cherry red Ferrari? I don't know. I just find it obnoxious. <laughs> I think the color red is obnoxious. Yeah, because it's like so bright and. We found, we found a lot of color color arcades. I yeah, hate a lot of colors. <laughs> I hate but yellow. I hate neon. red. I hate neon pink. I hate neon yellow. Oh, base. Oh, wait. Eric has great. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. What? You have like one of like one of the best eyesight, so it's like it hurts just seeing the incredibly yeah, bright painful. colors. Yeah, I have to keep my screen on like low brightness mode constantly. <laughs> Makes sense, I guess. Yeah, okay, yellow. According to experts, driving a yellow vehicle might mean you're happy. No, shut up. You're not happy. Get out of here. You want a different color. You want a different color if you're driving a yellow car. Get out of Agreed. here. Agreed. Okay, gray. Yeah, okay. The experts suggest that people who drive gray cars don't stand out and instead prefer something a bit more subtle. Okay. Yeah, sure. That's well, it. Why do you two just hate yellow? Yellow, <laughs> yellow sucks. Yellow sucks, honestly. Yellow yeah. sucks. Yellow is crap. Depending it is on such the a bad color. Yellow. No, okay, no. I, I associate yellow with piss. It well, that's your, that's, that's for you. <laughs> I do not look yellow, good in yellow, first of all, and I just think it's not a good color. For no, me yellow just doesn't work with anyone. I'll be honest with you. Like, like bike it's a yellow. hard color to wear. It is a hard color to wear. It is. It really is. It depends if it comes no, it to, like... it does not depend. No, like, no, no, like, it it, no, no, no. At all. no, like, when it comes to, like, clothes, it depends on the type of clothing and, like, how bright the color is. It's I don't cool. know if it depends. What, what color clothing can you associate yellow with? Don't you positive? have, like, don't you have something yellow, Eric? Like, I do, and I hate it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't wear it often for a good reason. I, I only wear it when I'm out of clothing. Like that's literally the last shirt I will wear. I don't have any yellow clothing. I'm glad. Same. I'm I am black, sad white, and green clothing. But <laughs> <sighs> okay, moving on. We're gonna go to something very random. So there is a definition out there called the Sigma Male Grind Set. Oh God, <laughs> not this. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so I don't know if anyone's seen memes of the Sigma ma- male grind set. <laughs> Have you? Have, Have you guys seen, seen the one with the Mega Mind? No, I haven't seen that one. I've seen no. mostly Master Chief ones. Oh no, wait. Oh, that's the oh okay okay. It's like similar, but then the, it's like it's not necessarily like directly Sigma. No, so. I think it's really stupid. But I'm gonna explain the definition, then we can discuss it afterwards. So the Sigma male grind set refers to the superior mindset possessed by the male <laughs> at the top of social hierarchy, <laughs> also known as the Sigma. <laughs> this grind set is often me- mentioned when the Sigma does something that may be considered based and red pilled. <laughs> Society run by betas views the Sigma as a threat. He's uh, he's thus often a victim of societal ostracism for his in uh, intrinsically based nature. He is the victim of a system systemic systematic soci- systemic <laughs> systemic so soci- societal hate crime. Jesus, who wrote this? Samuel Cool two two three wrote I was this. Like, Sigma male person. Like, yeah. Sigma male representing himself like a true Chad. 
Your honor, first of all, you are a stinky poo. Second, you do not understand the grind. I must exploit the wheat weak to maximize entertainment exploit value the wheat. and personal gains. <laughs> it is simply in my based and red-pilled nature. Is that really a crime? Beta judge realizing his true substantial error. Yo, my Bruh. bad. All charges dropped. Bruh. Respect the grind set, bro. <laughs> Who wrote this? Because <laughs> <laughs> I see this said weed, I was like, my yeah, yeah, Anyone who calls himself a Sigma male isn't a Sigma male. Yeah. <laughs> so great. They're just cringy. About like urban dictionary, though. Wait, why does a Sigma male even exist? There's alpha no, having male confidence and... in yourself and being a have, doing Sigma, being a calling yourself a Sigma guy, like. Is uh, two very different things, I would say. Yeah. But if you're confident enough to be stupid, I guess it's still confidence. It's still a lot more stupidity than confidence, though. Maybe it's stupidity instead. <laughs> I mean, a lot, a lot of people, yeah. Just confidence is often, well, stupidity is often misjudged as confidence. I, mean, I can't. I don't know. I don't know. There's confidence and there's some stupidity. Calling yourself a Sigma male, stupidity. This is why males suck. Wait, why, why did Alpha and Beta male even start? It makes no sense. This is why we as guys... calls himself an Alpha male? Honestly. Is there a version of this for females? I don't think there Damn. is. Alpha females. Females. Isn't there um Omegas? It's a thing. Yeah. Alpha Omega. Have no idea. Alpha and Beta. I'm looking this up. In a group of women, the Alpha is the one who exerts power and influence through our ability to take charge of the conversation while the beta will tend to listen and support in the extremes of both an alpha may be too confrontational and a beta may be too passive so they do have it then what's an omega isn't an omega also an alpha i'm confused what isn't omega the end and alpha the beginning technically i don't know mm. i don't know I don't know much about this. Yeah, uh, anyways, next. I just want to talk about that. I think it's really stupid. I mean, I don't mind the memes sometimes. But like, sometimes. no, but it's, it's really bad. Most people. of those people are so just... Cringe, you know? Most of the memes are just done out of, like, jokes. Like, it's yeah, not but the people who serious. actually think that yeah, way. Yeah, it's stupid. Have you, got, oh, yeah. Have you guys seen the video where it's like... Oh, God. He's like the wolf and the bear as his thing. Ah, oh, shoot. Uh, let me pull it up. <laughs> Wolf and the bear. Video. Let me just see this. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, videos. It's this guy. I think it's this guy. Hey, Greg. A couple days ago. Oh crap! I can't find it. Anyways, there's, um, okay. I'll just put this video in the. Um, it's worth it. So if so, if you look at the picture of the right in um idea channel, that video. Have you guys seen that video? No, but I've probably really... seen like countless videos. Of okay, it's, it's the just same yeah, it, yeah, Jesus. I don't know. I don't get it. Um. Okay. Well. Anyways, moving on. We have psychology behind rock paper scissors for our random topic time. You mean about psychology? Like, um, um. Okay. Plus nine research-based strategies for victory. Reviewed by Equa Hagen. Let's see who that is. It just no, goes through the result right. of the stalking there's, people. There's nothing there. Well, we need to find out if they're actual. <laughs> She's just an editor. It's just, it's just a rock, paper, scissors god. He's <laughs> <laughs> never lost. In his life. He's a rock, paper, scissors cha uh, champion. He's never like, lost. He goes to like the... Okay. Well, this is how it starts off. No washing dishes for me tonight, I said after I beat my sister at a game of rock, paper, scissors. I was 10, and rock, paper, scissors was our go-to game of fate, and decide all kinds of issues. Little did I know that rock, paper, scissors was not a game of chance, but a strategic system with a strong psychological foundation. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors probably dates back to the Han Dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> This this game known as I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna trash this name so bad. 
Yeah, Nick, you say it again. Ansukumi Ken. There we go. Thank you. Has used fingers and hands to represent a variety of different symbols in addition to rock, paper, and scissors, including slugs, poisonous centipedes, frogs, and hunters. This does not sound like rock, paper, scissors. Damn. By the 20th century, rock, paper, scissors has spread to the West. English names such as Rochambeau, Ik, Ak, Ok, Ching, Chang, Wall, O. <laughs> <laughs> Or stone, paper, scissors have stone, also, been, paper, scissors. Have also <laughs> been used. Stone, oh, paper, scissors. I, 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 oh, God, the ching chang wallow. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. Okay. Moving on. Anyways, continue, continue. Scissors is technically a zero-sum hand game, meaning one person's loss is exactly equal to another person's game. Play with two people in which each player simultaneously creates one of three shapes of their hands, and the shapes are rock, a fist, I feel, paper. I feel like we all know what rock, paper, scissors <laughs> is. I'm explaining this to anyone who doesn't have hands, Nick. God. You need to be inclusive, Nick. Yeah, oh, Nick. I'm sorry. God. I'm putting that oh. in my edit list just in case. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Okay. So there are four, four possible outcomes. One, a tie. Two, rock... Okay, I'm not going through this. No. <laughs> Many people, including me, have thought that rock, paper, scissors was similar to flipping coins or throwing dice. A useful... Me- okay. A useful method of choosing something at a random. However, there's far more to the game than meets the eye. Rock, paper, scissors are wrote, involves observation, mindfulness, manipulation, emotional intelligence, strategy, and skill. And some of that skill involves exploiting your opponent's ra- non-random behavior. Oh, this is a really long article. Anyways, think- that's the psychology behind rock, paper, scissors. Thank you for listening. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, anything behind, like, if you, anything behind, like, human intentional action is going to be, like, you can, like, strategize with yeah, mind Yeah, you can find out how someone, if someone is lying by using a mind game. That's why, that's why we can't, in our, like, EEs or, like, our IAs, we can't act for, like, random samples. We can't actually use, we have to use, like, a random number generator. Not, we can't just choose in random because yeah. our minds are te- considered not random. Yeah. They, they have a thought process and they actually think and no one can be truly random to them, so... There is a reason called why. Okay, well, we're not going to read all that, so now we're going to go on to our optical illusion quiz. Okay, oh. everyone hit the link. Um, I guess I'll I try and I'll it. try and show th- it's it's fun. Okay, I'm gonna try and set this up. Hold on, give me a second. Let me get the screen capture involved. The powerful mind, that one. Yes, screen. Wait, which one is this? Where is this? Properties. The powerful mind one. Ah. Uh. Okay, there we go. Okay, I have should it. We, should, we, should we should we just should we just watch from Eric's perspective or? Oh, I can stream. Oh, yeah, I'll stream. Sure, I'll stream. Okay, okay. Let's watch from your perspective. Yeah. Fun test. There you go. Okay, I think it's capturing. If not, then well. That's run. fine. <laughs> no big deal. Okay. Okay. Optical illusion one. What do you guys see? I see a crocodile. Just... I see a man and maybe his son or a, a dwarf on a boat. The first thing I saw was a crocodile. I mean, like, the first thing I saw was a crocodile. Yeah. I saw that afterward. Yeah, I saw a crocodile too. If you saw a crocodile, that means you're most likely someone who tends to look at the bigger picture of things. You may take things a little for granted, like walking through nature, as you don't see the overall importance when there are bigger things you can focus on. Eric, what does that add? <laughs> I don't really want to know. Read it. So you could. I don't really want to know. I decided to use Google for once, which is a mistake. <laughs> Optical illusion. Oh, wait, if you saw a boat, it means you've got a good eye for small details and not much get past you without knowing. I saw the boat first, so. You see what? You, you saw the crocodile. I kind of saw both. Okay, I saw both. I saw this, and then I saw this. Oh, what did you see the first? Time? I don't know. I saw like elbows. <laughs> like, I see this and I'm like arms. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is like a crocodile. And then I saw this and it's like a boat. So I'm gonna say crocodile first. I, I saw crocodile it. first. I see, I see arms. <laughs> There's no other option. I saw. Oh, God, it's okay. You know, I don't care either way. Optical illusion two. What do you guys see? 
Be too mean. I saw a person. Two person first. Too mean. You guys don't just see some vases? I see the pillars. I see the vases and pillar, yeah, pillars, <laughs> but I, I saw the, after I saw the, the person. I saw the pillars. Yeah. You saw the pillars first. It could point to the possibility they prefer comfort and security over most things. Accomplishing your big goals in life will not be possible unless you learn to break out of your comfort zone. Wow, that seems like an insult. Jesus. <laughs> if you saw the people first, it means you're... F okay, you know what? This just seems like they're trying to show that whatever you yep. see last is like... That's the people thing? Life... Okay, it means that you're a free spirit who is ready to leave your current surroundings at a drop of a hat. Life hardly never... Never ever seems dual to you. In fact, it's full of incredible people and adventures. You are a curious and kind soul, but don't wander for too long. Be ready when the time is right to settle down. Okay. I don't okay. know whether that applies to me, and I don't know. I only see I, one thing in this. I see the female. Oh wait, I see another thing. This is a man with a mustache. I see. Yeah, I see the man with the mustache. Yeah, I see the female. female. I see the female. I the first. If you saw the yeah. old man, it means you're more of a sensitive, gentler soul who has more is very empathetic of others because you saw I don't the old think man first. Any of us. Yeah, fair didn't enough. You, didn't you see you saw it first? Hmm. Didn't you see mm -hmm. you saw the man first, Nick? No, I said I saw the female. Oh. Who saw? Oh. Who saw <laughs> the, wait, did, <laughs> Andy, didn't you? No, I saw the female first. Yeah. Okay, all of us saw the female first. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll let you guys read the, the female one. <laughs> I cannot well, see. Wait. Most likely more of an analytical and thoughtful, calculated person compared to those who saw the old man first. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you use the left side of your brain more than you, you do the right. I don't know about that. Your analytical and thoughtful mind will serve you well in life. You can come across cold-hearted sometimes when you're just trying to be practical. That's fair. I don't try to hide the side of you that wants to believe in good in people, uh, even if it's analytic, analytics tells you different. Don't let you shut off your mouth. There's, eh. okay. I don't know. Okay, optical illusion. I see the binocular person. I see man's with bino <laughs> binoculars. I see, I, see, I see man's with binoculars. <laughs> I see a car and I see a road. That's pretty much it. I see men with car. binoculars. <laughs> if you saw the car, it means you're most... Why do I keep getting this stupid ad? Okay, if you saw the car, it means you're <laughs> likely means the freedom is very important to you. Traveling is dear to your heart. The ability to hit the road and go on an adventure is something that you highly prioritize. You take life at your own pace and do what comes naturally. If you saw the man with binoculars, it alludes to the idea that you're a more analytical person. You tend to focus on the big picture and dis disregard minor details. If you saw the letter A... I, oh. I see it now. Yeah, they, yeah. I see it now. I was like looking at the picture. Where? <laughs> hey, this is arguably the most difficult thing to see in first in this image. If the letter A is the thing, first thing you saw, it means you have an eagle eye unmatched by anyone. What if multiple people saw the letter A? Huh? Although, because like we're like Eric, Eric, because it's like we're like scrolling down. A is like the last thing we saw. Yeah, like but I'm saying no, but I mean, see, if multiple people saw the letter A, then you can't be unmatched by anyone. That's true. true. It just says unmatched by anyone. You can't be unmatched guess, by anyone. I guess, then I guess you're just that top 1% then. But when if a lot of people saw the letter A first, then you... It, you know what? Never mind. I don't, I don't care enough for this. I don't think they see it first. You tend to be English more detail-oriented than most and are highly intuitive. You, I'm not going to go to that one. You are usually well, able to pick up on subtle hints or nuances that might go unnoticed by others. Okay, next. See the female first. Oh, I, the I saw the female first. Same. I don't even, wait, where is the skull? Oh, it's, it's this. It's the whole yeah, shape. Yeah, it's, it's the skull. The yeah, it's I don't the like itself. this. This this kind of messes me up with the skull. Yeah. It's either a teeth it or hair. Look like a skull though. It doesn't. It looks like a it looks like a brain with a beard. No, what is it? What do you call it? You know the what is it? From Pirates of the Caribbean. If like the guy with like the. Face. Oh um, yeah, uh, so, right. It is, it's like his skull. Black. Is, that's like. not Blackbeard, is it? I don't think it's so. Not Blackbeard. What's his I name? Remember. Remember. I, I, it doesn't really matter. If you saw the skull first, this may be a sign that you're having a hard time making decisions and choosing a path forward. There may be many obstacles ahead for you, and this may be a test of your character. If you saw the woman first. Oof. Points the idea that you may feel like you have to be defensive a lot. The woman is in the photos hunching over to the ground with her hand on her head, covering herself in her lap. She's very defensive position. This is an English essay. Agreed. And it could allude <laughs> to the thought that that you may be doing the same in your life too. You may feel physically and emotionally. Why is emotionally drained the only thing I can click on? <laughs> oh. What? Okay, I'm going back. 
Please. <laughs> Emotionally. <laughs> the, the woman represents your inner regret. Ah, uh, yes, I have inner regret. Ah, uh, yes. So many regrets. So many. <laughs> there. Okay. It got dark um, real quick. <laughs> it's important to take a good look at yourself and figure out what that is. My life. Okay, optical illusion six. I see the I see the like the thing in the middle. I see two people, yeah. but they're look. Why is this so big? Agreed. I I see that thing in the middle. Though. I see the middle first. I don't <laughs> think. I I saw that thing too, but I I saw these afterwards. If you saw the faces, it means you're yeah. very or people orientated. Yeah. We have people on your mind a lot. You tend to be more of an extroverted person. Why is there an IQ test? Ooh, IQ test. We should do that. Okay, Eric, back to the topic. Extroverted person. <laughs> I have ADHD. <laughs> so you get energy from social interactions. You're a socialite who likes to be the life of the party. So the candle. Oh so the candlestick first. You're more of an extrovert. People aren't on your mind as much as those who saw faces in the first image. You tend to be more caught extrovert. up with your own thoughts. You yeah. like being at home more than you like going out and being surrounded by a lot of people. You enjoy being alone or with close uh, friends. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, though, because like for me, yeah, like, like I last, like, more, yeah. like last time I saw, I saw the person first, but this time I saw the pillars first. I like, don't like this. I don't like this pic. I don't like whatever this is going on. I, here. I see the woman. First. I see two shared faces with an eye, and I don't like that. Oh yeah, yeah, but yeah, but I see the woman first. If you're, yeah, if you are, me. if you are a woman, what? Okay. I guess it's we're not women. There's four, there's four options. It there's may like four mean options. that you're looking for a romantic partner right now, or you have a. Mm, yeah. If you saw the man's face. If you're in a relationship, uh, it can mean you're already deeply connected to that person. If you were a man and saw the man's face first, it means you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it means you may be concerned. Wait, but what about for actual I mean, like gay people? They're not I mean, really you could actually technically see that. Yeah. Like it could, because this is probably like from the point of view of like a straight person. Let's be actually, honest. actually, they didn't do a bad representation. It means you can be may be concerned with your interpersonal relationships with other men. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. They didn't really say the word, but yeah, <laughs> this can mean your coworkers, guys at the gym, or close friends. You may be a little too ah my phone. Sorry, I dropped it on my okay. keyboard. Maybe you're gonna worry too much of what they think about you. If you're a woman and you saw the woman's face first, it means you're very comfortable in your own skin. And what? Wait, why isn't? Why if a man sees a man, they're not comfortable, and if a woman sees a woman, <laughs> they are comfortable. Who wrote this? Scroll to the top. Scroll to the top. <laughs> that. <laughs> is there no? Is there no? What? Is it in the bottom? Is it not? Like sighted? sometimes. Oh, uh, Usually it's in the bottom though. Uh, like all the way. No. No. Okay. What? No. Wow. Okay. okay. Um. I guess if you're a man who saw the woman's face first, you may indicate that you're looking for a partner to share your life with. Maybe oh. even a little too much. Give yourself time to let things happen naturally. Which Wait, images did you choose? First? Wait. What did you guys see first? I saw I'm a man and saw the woman. I saw first. the woman, but I'm. That makes no sense. I think they're just saying random stuff, honestly. I feel like they're saying random stuff. Agreed. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, to, fa to be fair, they're saying May so they don't get sued. <laughs> I think we can do the colorblind May test together decay. too, right? Huh? Yeah. We can, yeah, we can do it yeah. together. Okay, colorblind test. Let's go. You guys can stay on my stream. What, you guys can see this, right? Oh. Yes. I see a five. five. What the heck? Oh. Five. <laughs> okay. Four. Four. And you would not see it. Okay, four. Nine. Yeah. Nine. Six. Six. Okay. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Five. Five. Yeah. Two. 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 It's getting a little trickier. Six. There's, there's one that I can't Three. see. Three. I know there's one in here that I can't see. Eight. Seven. Seven. Five. Five. Oh, that one I couldn't see. Seven. Seven. Oh, yeah, we're going to take this slowly in case one, someone can't one. see this. Someone generally can't see this. Five. Eight. 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 Nine. 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 Mm -hmm. This color is bad for me. Three. Three. No hard ones? Three. Three. This one is pretty difficult. I, I, I Four. 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 <laughs> this one's harder for me to see as well. Nine. Nine. What the? F I can barely see that. Nine. Nine. <laughs> Is that it? I don't need to see it. We got a perfect score. Is there a harder one? Is there, there's got to be a harder one, right? 
Hey, maybe there's a there's a kids one. Oh, we should do the should we do the kids one? Let's try the kids we're not, one. We're not even kids. Qualify. Shape mode number for kids. <laughs> shape plus. mode five. It's the same. It's the same, same thing. thing. Yeah, it's but kids certainly have better vision, so I'm assuming they're gonna make it more difficult. Eight, eight, five, five, nine, nine. Are we gonna make it harder? Four, four, one, 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 seven, seven. I swear it was harder. Four, There's one I couldn't see. Now they can see all of them. Five, five, eight, eight, five, five. Ooh, that one's kind of hard for me to see. Nine. 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 Two, two, eight, seven, six, six, eight, eight. That's hard to see. Six, six, six. four. I don't like the I green really against the gray. I don't yeah, like I, 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 the green against the gray sucks for me. Mm. I'm perfectly fine. I mean, my dad's colorblind, so. Yes? Yeah. Yes? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, leading personality test. The colors tell your emotions. Your emotions reveal your personality. Are we doing this together or are we doing this individually? Individually. I'll do it. I'll do it by myself. Okay. Okay. Wait, is it the same as the link I've sent in the Discord? Uh, I have no idea. Well, similar. <laughs> no, this is different. Okay, uh, do the one that Andy sent. Okay. Do the colors. Beginning with those you prefer. Um, your turn. Pick the colors. Those you prefer. That one. That one. Do I have to wait? That one. How many am I allowed to pick? I don't know. You have to pick it until it's finished. Okay. That's not a bad color. I hate I orange. Like I guess I don't. I don't like orange that much. That yeah, color's all bad. That's not bad either. Bit too bright. Oh wait, we have to begin with those we prefer. Okay, I see now. Yeah. Oh, I've been. Oh wait, hold up. I'm just like, <laughs> click, click randomly. Oh, <laughs> you yeah. have? Yeah. I was like, eh. Whatever. That one. That one. That one. That one. That one. That one. Okay, I finished. Attention. Start with finished. those that you like the least. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm so lazy. That one. So, uh, that one, that one. Like the least. That one. Right. That one. I don't like that. Don't that like that. One, don't that like one, that one. It's just clicker simulator now. <laughs> uh, I'm left with only green and blue at the end. <laughs> that one. That one. Okay. Sure. Your results. You are 46% extrovert, 54% introvert. You have an in-depth thinking. You think before acting. You know how to communicate your knowledge. Mm. Those two can go. Those two can go. That one can go. That one can go. That one, that one, that one, that one. You are a manager and a structured person. Sure I am. <laughs> Hey, okay. that's good to okay. buy. Your that's insight. Buy. Yeah. Yeah. Is here, I am 48% yeah. extra, extrovert, and I'm an extro, extrovert. Extrovert. <laughs> extrovert. <laughs> extrovert. <laughs> extrovert. <laughs> I'm 46%. I mean, extra. <laughs> extrovert. It's kind the of quality is a character okay. personality. Your insight. You are thoughtful and deep. You think before going back. <laughs> You know how to communicate your knowledge. We have the same exact one, Daniel. Your emotional intelligence. You are attuned to others and you show a great emotional intelligence. Mine's your... Eight percent extrovert and your fifty-two percent introvert. Yeah, same as me. I got. I got. Wait, how did I get lower extrovert value than both of you? Oh. Fifty-one percent extrovert, forty-nine percent introvert. <laughs> Terrible quiz. <laughs> Although, to be honest, you're supposed to spend a lot of time with this, though. What? <laughs> Who's gonna have problems selecting color? Wait, I was seeing a different page. Oh, they didn't your see management. it. Let's, let's try a different one. I feel like this is kind of a failed. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah, failed. Okay, let's do the um, personality test. What's this one? Let's do oh, this true color. One. My personality test? Let's just do the my personality test one. Okay. <clears throat> 
Okay, so the one that appears at the top. So true personality test, my personality test.com. I'll just put it in the links. Oh, wait, put it in the wrong link. Okay, I'm putting it in the thing. There we go. <clears throat> okay, here we go. I put it in there. I am an introvert. Others are joining me because I am. About half, though. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, that strong is so drawn to me because I am the hell is what the. What the hell is the difference between education and teaching? I... I don't know. What's the difference between education and teaching? What is this? Bruh. I don't it's feel like doing this quiz. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Objective? What's the thing that's really objective and compassionate? Mm. Uh, I stopped doing the quiz, I gave up. <laughs> I'm tired. Please, I need to do my bio. I'm really tired. <laughs> Agreed. I need to I need to do my um Oh it's your turn. I've got to edit now. <laughs> I'm not even so... doing it anymore. <laughs> We're not even doing this for like podcast right now. Not even doing this anymore. Yeah, it's the most shit one that we had in a while. Mm. It's true. Well, the first half was fine. Just ending was kind of bad. Is it? <laughs> are you doing? It? Are you doing it? Yep. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I want coffee. I want to not do things. I'm gonna rest. Oh, my personality type is gold. Your true color is gold. Bruh. Gold. Your true color is gold. Gold individuals use your loyal, organized, dependable, caring, and prepared. I don't know about the uh. organized thing, but... <laughs> oh, Wait, what? Forward. Wait, so others describe me as dependable, punctual, caring, charming, optimistic, spontaneous, sympathetic, communicative, flexible, and or analytical, creativity... A creative and calm. Hmm. What do you guys describe me as? I stop doing it. I don't know. What color <laughs> are you, Andy? I still am doing it. Just... Oh, you don't. Oh. oh. So, so I'm asking is like others describe me as what? I don't know. So the first option is dependable, punctual, caring. The second option is charming, optimistic, spontaneous. Yes. The third is sympathetic, communicative, flexible. Fourth is analytical, creative, calm. Caring one, I guess? Dependable, punctual, caring. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, we need something fun to do. Oh yeah, we're not ending it. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna end it pretty much yeah. soon. Uh, okay. Once Eddie gets Let's his results, it. we need to wait till Eddie gets his results. I got I got results. mine. You got I yours? Got orange. You got orange. Yeah. What 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 is your personality type, Nick? Describe you as fun, energetic, and charismatic. Others are naturally drawn to you, drawn to you, and waste no time getting to know new people. You're naturally extroverted and do very well in social situations. Huh. 
fashionable. You're very detail-oriented and love to plan ahead. You are very predictable and responsible, which gives you a sense of security in life. You rarely do anything that is unpredictable or unplanned. I think I'm unpredictable. I do stupid stuff all the time. Great. <laughs> Incredibly charming and quick-witted. You are great negotiation. You're great negotiation. <laughs> You are great at negotiations, who has a knack for convincing others to see things that your way. I don't know if mine fits me. I don't even like the color gold. Creative gold. and spontaneous. Not afraid to take risks. Guided by your heart rather than head. Which sometimes get into trouble. Fair. You sometimes trouble with long-term goals, prefer short-term short tangible rewards. Ex need of excitement and socialization. Orange individuals were suited for careers that are flexible and allowed to work with others. Uh, Andy, where's you, have you, have you finished yet? Sales, marketing, management, customer service. And... Almost done. I started doing my bio. <laughs> uh. Elvis Presley. I got Winston Cameron Churchill. Yeah. I got Nancy <laughs> Reagan, I got Hen and Henry Ford. I'm happy with the N Henry Ford ones, but everything else. Eddie Murphy. Oh, I got Eddie Murphy. Oh. Yeah, Eddie Murphy. <laughs> oh. Ernest, Ernest Hemingway as well. That's not bad. Cameron Diaz. I have no idea who that is. Cameron Diaz is not. I mean, I guess it's okay. I don't know who that is. I'm happy with Henry Ford, not with Winston Churchill. <laughs> <laughs> Foot ulcer. Charming, spontaneous, impactful, optimistic, and bold. I'm not optimistic. I'm really pessimistic, I'll That's be honest. True. I'm not Are organized. You orange? Huh? You're orange like Nick. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm 31% orange, 24% blue, 21% yellow, 17% green. I'm 3% blue, 38% gold, 17% orange, and 24% green. 14% green, 28% orange, 17% blue, 24% yellow, or gold. I was just saying my laptop died, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for listening to this week's podcast. Uh, sorry, um, it's so depressing. We're running out of topics. <laughs> we are. We really are. We're running out of things to talk about, but, you know, yeah. we Maybe try. So we'll, Hopefully we'll just... we can continue on. Maybe we'll in the future then. we'll just do random cast projects and do this as a fun thing where we can talk about random projects instead of yeah. actually school stuff that's related to mental health. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Eh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. Thank Enjoy. you guys for listening. Yeah, thank Bye. You. Bye. Bye. Bye.